Yeah, the snow's been pretty good. I was up there on Saturday and it was uh, nice skiing on New Year's Eve and uh, still sticking with a lot of snow up there. Thankfully, our snow levels haven't uh, warmed up by much, so we've actually kept uh, a good amount of the snow here uh, throughout the last week. About an inch or so of new snow in the last 24 hours. That snow has been rather light uh, the last couple of days, but 27 degrees up at Mount Hood. Just a beautiful view there. Quick peek at our forecast snow levels. We will warm a little as we head into our Thursday evening here. Snow levels uh, just below 7,000 feet, we will see a strong storm that will bring in some warmer southerly air here. So do expect to see uh, some more uh, rainfall, maybe down by the passes and 4,000 feet as we head towards about the middle part of the week here. Uh, then we're back to colder conditions and a bit more snowfall across the passes going into uh, the end of the week. So here's our future cast. Notice as we head towards tomorrow morning, maybe one to two inches of snow over the roadways there through government camp. So if you're driving still, use precautions, go slowly and uh, check those conditions as we head into our Wednesday evening. We could see a good round of snow here where we get maybe two to four more inches over the roadways. The uh, ski slopes above 5,000 feet, maybe closer to three to six inches and also uh, possibly some snow down to I-84 too out in Hood River. So we'll watch that closely going into Wednesday night and Thursday chance for a little bit of winter weather here out towards the mountains and into the gorge uh, by midweek. But right now we are looking at some quiet conditions here. These showers have tapered off from the morning time. Still a few showers scooting by the coastline and starting to move Move back in near Lincoln City, so we will see a few showers throughout tonight. Uh, but what we're really watching here is this large system well offshore. There it is a strong storm or what uh, may possibly be a bomb cyclone. Now we have seen a few of these in recent times. The last one that came was back in 2019 and took aim at Medford, Oregon, bringing blizzard conditions and some snow. These storms again tend to be larger and stronger than normal storms and a bomb cyclone cyclone is just one that uh, rapidly intensifies over the course of 24 hours. So a chance that this storm intensifies very rapidly and with it bringing strong winds, possibly damaging winds and very heavy rainfall. So thankfully this storm will stay offshore and we just kind of miss this storm here in Portland. So we'll stay out of the bullseye impacts from this large storm, but there it is. Uh, take a peek here at the winds that we'll start to see as we get our way into Wednesday and Thursday. First in Portland, do expect to see some breezy east winds setting up by tomorrow. It's a little windy, a little chillier out there. We'll see those winds spanning up and down the coastline too. Again, just strong east winds all the way out towards the coast. But as that system, that bomb cyclone nears heading into Thursday morning, take a look at those strong south winds out towards areas around the southern Oregon coastline. We do have a high wind watch out there for these, uh, these very strong winds. Some could be quite damaging and some of the headlands could even see speeds maybe around 75 miles per hour. In Portland, we'll still We'll have some gusty conditions from the east heading into our Thursday morning, but then we start to change those wind speeds from the south as that storm scoots on by. So expect to see windy conditions these next couple of days, possibly stronger and more damaging winds out towards the coastline both Wednesday and Thursday. So here's our future cast in terms of rainfall. We are back under a few showers tonight. Again, these showers will be fairly light, but may come right around that evening commute. So take it easy on the roads, grab the rain jacket tonight, a dry start Wednesday, but we start to bring in some of these bands of rain from that system offshore. There's that bomb cyclone, and thankfully it is well offshore. But notice parts around Northern California may see the most rain here, and a chance we see some flooding rains uh, right around areas in Northern California heading into Thursday uh, morning and evening. Take a look here. Again, some spots in Northern California may see around two to even four inches here. So again, the brunt of the storm down towards the south, but this area is where we just saw that last atmospheric river about a week ago. So tough to see uh, another round of some flooding rainfall in areas of Northern California. We'll likely see some devastation, some flooding there uh, as we head towards Thursday and Friday. So we're going to watch that closely for now. Portland just stays pretty showery. I think on Thursday will be windy and a bit more rainy, but again, we're kind of missing out on the storm. Thankfully, mm. it's going to stay offshore, but there will be some areas uh, again in California that uh, take a hit from this. Yeah, I mean, like you said, bomb cyclone, fun to say. Fun to say. It's like Haboob. Is it Haboob? It's is a Haboob. that the other one? That's like That's an Arizona fun one. dust storm. Yeah, we don't really actually want to be <laughs> a part of one. No, we yeah. don't. We yeah. don't. Okay. So we'll watch that closely. All right, we'll be right back with more news and a final check on that forecast.